I am a graphic designer. I decided to design collaborations between popular brands and equally popular TV shows. No one asked about it, but no one asked me if I wanted to be bored as well. Okay, first up is the combination of Mountain Dew with Rick and Morty. I thought it would take me an hour, but um... I went for Pickle Rick. His grin, Mountain Dew is grin, perfect. The design of the original can is very energetic and aggressive. You know what I mean. So I needed an aggressive Rick and I found one. I cut him out of this frame and put behind the logo. I think it looks cool. I enhanced the colors a bit to make them more vibrant, similar to the logo. I downloaded the mockup from here. I didn't have any specific ideas beforehand. I started improvising. I added the Rick and Morty logo. It was temporary, though. I thought, what? I could add. The obvious choice was a portal. It's green, dynamic and will definitely fit. Now I just had to spend an hour drawing it, just for it never to be real. I love my job. Okay, but at least it looks cool. Kinda. In the original portal, there are these stars or lights. I wanted to add them through, but it didn't fit. So the water droplets will fulfill their role. But something is still missing. So I went for another 20 minute adventure, which turned into two hours of work. I decided to redraw the whole character. I had to do it to make Rick fit the Mountain Dew logo style. I wanted the lines to be thick, sharp, etc. I went for the mascot logo style. Actually, I could have drawn him in Illustrator from the beginning instead of spending 30 minutes cutting him out, but whatever. I colored the character and started adding lights and shadows. I cannot draw, but I did my best at the time. If the product is a collab, it's cool if it's a new, unique flavor. I didn't have to think longer. I have never seen a soda with a pickle flavor. I downloaded the Rick and Morty font, Mountain Dew Pickle Juice. I made the text as similar as possible to the carton's logo. Delicious. Fermented foods work well for the microbiome chemistry or something like that, so it will be a healthier version of Mountain Dew. Let's put it like that. A few minor annoying adjustments and the project is finished. If you like what you see, please subscribe is my first video. Now Doritos. We'll combine it with Squid Game. We're all waiting for the second season. If the new season turns out to be bad, at least everyone would enjoy Squid Game Doritos, like any other junk food. In Squid Game, guards have those distinctive symbols on their heads. They also appeared in one of their competitions. So they would be a perfect fit for this project. Yes, we will change the shape of the chips. I know, for some it's unthinkable, but well, that's my idea. You won't only eat triangular Doritos, you'll be able to eat triangular, circular and square ones. I wanted them to look realistic, so I based them on the original photo. First, I created the round one. It couldn't be too round though. I used an eraser to fix it. It looked a bit flat, so it was worth adding some light and shadow. Now it looks legit. Now the square one. I wanted to use generative fill, an AI feature in Photoshop. They advertise it as an amazing tool, but I always come down with something like this. Anyway, I've decided to give it a chance. The first time it turned on like what? this, the second time like this. I don't know where is that intelligent part. Anyways, some other corrections and we have chips in three desired shapes. Okay, let's add some shadow to it as well. Nice. Now the flavor. Grilled squid. G squid. Flavored. No squid was harmed in the production. I decided to put guards in the background. The project had to immediately evoke the series. It couldn't look too mimatistic. Boom. Okay, it, it, it doesn't look too good. I wanted to place the chips on their heads instead of symbols, but it looks tragic. Also, the images are low quality. I get stuck for a while. So, I came up with the idea of stealing, finding a free 3D model of those guys. Yeah. And I was shocked because I found one. It was quite good thanks fatu star i imported the model into blender and started looking for a cool composition ignore those shadows you don't see them i rendered the whole thing and returned to photoshop and it looks better but something is still missing hmm. uh maybe a shadow maybe size 
I moved the chips down, like in the original Doritos. I checked how symbols in the Doritos logo style would look on their masks. And here is where overthinking started. I removed the characters because they looked weird, like clay feet figures. I found a free stock photo of the guard and adjusted it to the composition. Now I had to edit them slightly, so it's time for fun. I had to somehow remove those circles. It had to look relatively realistic. I selected the circle on one of the characters. I extended the selection a bit and used content aware fill. I transformed the original symbols into glowing ones. In the Doritos logo style. I wasn't still satisfied, as always. I started testing different color versions. First, a pink one. Then I added shadows. I spent like half an hour on them. And I even kinda liked it. I made a million more adjustments that no one pays attention to, and I prefer not to remember them, and boom. I was happy with the project. But I wouldn't be myself if I didn't change something again. I created another composition. I just moved the characters upwards. I was curious how it would look. Then I overthought it again. I wanted to draw the characters in the musket logo style again. It looked bad even at the sketch stage, so so I left it as this. You gotta know when the project is decent enough. Let me know what you think and if you would eat grilled squid Doritos. I wouldn't. I hate those Sweden drinks. Because of them, I get fat in the middle school. I decided to make them even more unhealthy. Much more unhealthy. So that people would be protected from buying them. Who will combine Sprite with Breaking Bad. If you haven't watched Breaking Bad, believe me, these cute crystals are not something good. You shouldn't consume them and sell them. You, you shouldn't sell them, consume, do nothing with them. The dictionary says Sprite could mean a disembodied spirit ghost. The perfect definition. If you drink that Sprite, you probably wouldn't survive. You know, you, you would be a ghost. I started by changing the color of the drink to blue and the cap to green and adding the logo to the label. Biggest problem was combining these logos. And guess what? In the periodic table, we can find elements like SB, SC, SE, SG, SI, SM, SR, SN, but there is no SP. So I went with just S. And it's not that bad. I added missing letters. Again, I changed the colors of the label and cap. I also added a gradient referring to the old sprite design, which, by the way, is my favorite. I hate these oversimplified designs, and my design was still too simple. First, I wanted to add some smoke in the background. Bad idea. Different smoke, very bad idea. In the end, I went for something very obvious, crystals. I generated them in mid-journey because I couldn't find any cool free ones. And no way I'm drawing it. I changed their colors to the light blue. I probably spent an hour finding the right place for them. I also tested some blue in the background to, to you know, to, to make it more interesting, more dynamic. But I eventually gave up on it. So I just blended them more into the background. And at this point, I was kind of satisfied. The most unhealthy sprite you can think of was done. Let me know which design you like the most. See ya.